Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqid. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a Ghudaybiyah Palace, a delegation from Bahrain Society for Training and Development, headed by the Honorary President of the International Federation of Training and Development Organizations, Dr. Ibrahim bin Khalifa Al Dosari. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the successes achieved by the people of Bahrain are a source of pride, hailing the national caterers who have been able to achieve remarkable success and to receive regional and international recognition. He stressed that human development is the basis for the government's efforts to achieve sustainable development and advance service quality in all production sectors. The delegation briefed His Royal Highness on the outcomes of its participation in the 48th Conference on Human Resource Development in the Digital Transformation Era which was recently held in the Bosnian capital, Sarajevo. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the delegation members on the conference's success and the status it achieved among those interested in managing and developing human resources, which reflects the capabilities of the people of Bahrain and their competency to make achievements in all fields. His Royal Highness hailed Bahrain Society for Training and Development and its effective role throughout history and developing the human element in the kingdom through many programs and events that contributed to enhancing the competency of human resources. The delegation members congratulated His Royal Highness on the UN's adoption of His Royal Highness's initiative to declare the 5th of April as the International Day of Conscience, affirming that it is a source of pride. For his part, the CEO of Bahrain Society for Training and Development, Mohammed Mahmoud al-Sheikh, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to the society, which received international recognition as a result of His Royal Highness's support. The Director of Information and Women's Development at Bahrain Society for Training and Development, Dr. Huria Abbas Adiri, delivered a speech in which she expressed pride in meeting His Royal Highness, asserting that His Royal Highness's efforts in supporting the Human Element March is coordinated with the latest world standards for development. She noted that the people of Bahrain become experts in establishing and developing institutions in the fields of training and human development, affirming that it is a result of the basis set by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. She stressed that the society's role contributes to raising the status of the kingdom to achieve many successes in the fields of sustainable human development. قبل 25 عاما مضت حيث استشرفت منذ ولادتها اليد المباركة من لدن سموكم وصارت بفضل تشجيعكم هي البيت الحاضن للثروات البشرية التي ساهمت في بناء العديد من المؤسسات الحكومية والخاصة ورسخت بذلك أكبر قصص النجاح التي باتت يحتذى بها في كل محفل محلي وعالمي نشهد ونجني حصيلة جهودكم في دعم مسيرة التنمية البشرية ونترصد الأثر البالغ فيما رسختم سموكم من قصص الفخر والاعتزاز التي باتت مؤرخة في مقدمة المآثر التي يحتذى بها الاتحاد في كل محفل ومجمع فأنتم الرمز الحقيقي الذي به نحتدي ونقتدي بركت جهودكم يا صاحب السمو نعم القائد ونعم الأثر سيدي مجد هذا الوطن إن استقبالكم لنا اليوم هو الزاد الذي نستقي منه أسمى معاني العزم والإرادة لنكمل معكم المسير 
وجئنا اليوم في هذا المحفل التاريخي كي نزف لسموكم عظيم الإنجاز الذي حققه أبناؤك في تمثيل مملكة البحرين في شتى بقاع العالم سيدي صاحب السمو إن هذه المكان التي تصدرتها مملكة البحرين عنوانها خليفة بن سلمان القائد الوالد حفظكم الله وألبسكم دوما موفور الصحة والعافية ودمتم سندا وعونا وذخرا في دعم مسيرتي بنائي ونهضة هذه الأرض الطيبة بمؤازرتي ودعمي من سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وسيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب السمو حفظك الله عزا ومجدا ومنارة تحية طيبة لك يا سموه الأمير The Society's member poet Salem Ahmed Al Manai recited a poem on the occasion in which he hailed the achievements of His Royal Highness and his efforts in various development fields. تشفى من عذوبها أصدور لك صوت نبع المشاعر مثل صوت الغدير لو كان صوتي بوسط الناس ما هو جهور يا سيدي قد بنيت المجد صرح كبير وتربعت فوقها ما الصعايب اقصور مجد الوطن مجد الوطن وانته الكل الجمايل سفير ولا فيه بين الخلايق قوم يشهدك زور خليت ممشاك عبره في نفوس الكثير ووثقت في دفتر التاريخ صفحات نور علمتنا نعقد العزم ونحث المسير وان الوطن ثروه بعين الشجاع الغيور وكرمت طلابنا والعلم ليله عسير وعلمتنا حوز الاسماء في جميع الامور واصبح لنا صيت في كل المحافل شهير في كل دولة تميزنا عيون الحضور امنا البداية معك واحنا معك للأخير يلي بشورك تشرف كل راين وشور في ضحكتك تلبس البحرين ثوب حرير واستنشقت من هواك العذب نفح العطور يا سيدي وانته دارك شهيق وزفير والأرض لو كنت ما تخطي عليها تبور مجد الوطن والشعر لو ما يوفيك غير أكبر فخر لا كسب طيبك من أول ظهور ولا غلاك بعيوننا يا سمو والأمير خليفة أكبر من اللي ينكتب بالسطور His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired a meeting of the Government Executive Committee at Ghulaybiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed the National Audit Office, the NAO, to investigate the electricity and water bills of Bahraini citizens at their primary residence, single account, as well as individuals and establishments in order to ensure that there are no technical and procedural deficiencies and the, in the water and electricity billing mechanisms. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also directed the Electricity and Water Authority, IWA, to reissue the June, July, and August electricity and water bills for citizens at their primary residence, single account, based on last year's issued amount, given that the amount is lower compared to bills issued in 2019 for the same period. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of ensuring that the water and electricity billing system is not subject to cyber intrusion, as well as guaranteeing that individual water and electricity accounts are not being exploited for the benefit of commercial enterprises contrary to the laws and regulations.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reiterated the importance of upholding the principles of fairness, accountability and responsibility, as well as using resources sustainably in order to meet the aspirations of citizens and the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik al Sheikh at Ghudaybiya Palace to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which are underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud's joint commitment to advance cooperation on all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to emphasize the constructive role played by Saudi Arabia across all fields, both regionally and internationally, and its efforts in safeguarding regional security and stability under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Crown Prince extended thanks to the Saudi Ambassador for his service in further enhancing bilateral relations between the two kingdoms and wished him every success in his future endeavors. Latest developments on the regional and international arenas and issues of common interest were also reviewed. For his part, the Saudi Ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and for the support he had received during his tenure in the kingdom, highlighting His Royal Highness's viable valuable contribution to building on the strong Bahraini-Saudi partnership. In the framework of the Kingdom of Bahrain's attracting prestigious international universities, the Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi paid a visit to the building site of the American University in Bahrain. The minister made an inspection visit to the university facilities and followed up on the preparations being made on the academic, administrative and construction levels. He was also briefed by the President of the American University of Bahrain, Dr. Susan Saxton, on the academic programs to be presented by the university in the future as part of its expansion plan. For this occasion, Naimi highlighted that the American University, in coordination with the Secretariat General of the Higher Education Council, has completed the special requirements on the academic side. And Naimi also affirmed that the interest of the Higher Education Council in encouraging investment in the higher education sector by attracting the best educational institutions cooperation. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hassan bin Ali Mirza, hailed the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on utility bills. He affirmed that the Ministry will implement His Royal Highness's directives by reissuing the June, July and August electricity and water bills for citizens at their primary residence, single account, based on last year's issued amount given that the amount is lower compared to bills issued in 2019 for the same period. The Minister hailed His Royal Highness's directives to the Office of Financial and Administrative Control to investigate the mechanisms of issuing utility bills for all participating citizens and their primary residents, as well as individuals and institutions. He noted that the Ministry continues to develop its services for citizens and various governorates and implements plans and projects aimed at fulfilling their needs to achieve sustainable resources. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Dialogue of Civilizations Research Institute in Russia and the effort of enhancing bilateral cooperation and developing research and academic capabilities in the field of dialogue of civilizations and peaceful coexistence. The MOU was signed by the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence Chairman Dr. Sheikh Khaled bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Chairman of the Supervisory Board of the Dialogue of Civilizations Research Institute, Professor Vladimir Yukonin. The agreement will establish a long-term relation between the two sides to enhance the exchange of information and experience between researchers and academics. The bilateral cooperation will include the exchange of delegations and visits between Bahrain and Russia, as well as the organization of workshops and the presentation of research papers to discuss issues of mutual interest. Dr. Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in signing the MOU, 
and the aspirations of creating a peaceful and sustainable world by consolidating the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among different people and societies. Sheikh Khalid highlighted that peaceful coexistence can only be achieved through a political will by a leadership that believes in tolerance and the essence of humanity. He noted that what distinguishes the Kingdom of Bahrain from the rest of the world is two main elements. His Majesty the King's belief in the importance of dialogue among civilizations and the people's awareness of the importance of peaceful coexistence that is enjoyed by the Kingdom. For his part, Professor Yukonin expressed admiration in the goals and activities of King Hamid Center and its vision and trends that reflect the history of Bahrain as a leading model of tolerance and social cohesion in the Middle East. Professor Yukonin affirmed the existence of several common denominators between Bahrain and Russia in the field of promoting the dialogue of civilizations, which shall facilitate the exchange of views, noting that the center and the institute shall play essential roles in achieving convergence and finding practical solutions to the problems and disputes that plague the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain maintained its Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department's 2019 Trafficking in Persons TIP report in recognition of the government's labor market reforms program thanks to the continuous efforts being exerted by the government of Bahrain. More in this report. Mr. Osama al Absi from Bahrain. Bahrain became the first country in the region to achieve Tier 1 status and is now recognized as being fully compliant with the Trafficking Victims Protection Act's minimum standards for the elimination of human trafficking. The 2019 TIP report recognized the Kingdom's achievements in mitigating the trafficking of people and combating forced labor. Highlighting the achievement, the International Organization for Migration, the IOM, opened a new office in Bahrain to provide support to the government in the management of labor mobility in the Gulf countries in a way that benefits all concerned, as IOM Chief of Mission in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Mohammed Al Zarqani, explains. We've, uh, we're, we're very pleased to, to, to now have an, uh, an official accredited uh, mission for IOM uh, as a UN migration agency here in, uh, in uh, Bahrain. Uh, we're very grateful for the hospitality of the government of Bahrain. Uh, I mean, we are sitting in a government building. Yeah. Uh, we're hosted uh, uh, in the uh, Labor Market Regulatory Authority. Uh, uh, building in uh, in uh, North Sehla, uh, we think that was that was that was not a an ad hoc arrangement. That was also a very strategic one. Uh, it is important that there is uh, there is cross learning between the organization and staff of the LMRA that are specifically focused on areas of combating human trafficking and so on. As we know, this is. Where the the shelters uh, the shelter is yeah. for for the expat protection shelter exists. Uh, also, this is where the core uh, national referral mechanism team is also uh, is also uh, situated. Meanwhile, the ambassador of the Philippines to Bahrain, Mr. Alfonso Aver, noted the dedication of the government in dealing with any issues relevant to this issue. We extend our utmost congratulations to Bahrain for attaining, for the second year in a row, Tier 1 status uh, under the U.S. Uh, State Department classification of states uh, fighting this, like what you said, this terrible human scourge of uh, human trafficking, a terrible global scourge of human trafficking. We appreciate much as a major labor sending country here. It has affected, like what you said, many lives, a, a few Months, a few weeks ago, we had one case uh, of uh, 13 Filipinas. They're back in the Philippines now. Uh, there are two other cases uh, uh, of uh, properly and uh, legally assisted. And uh, even if I cite some, uh, just a few cases involving Filipinos, this does not say that there are so many cases have been helped. Those who have gone directly to LMRA, those who other uh, referral systems like 995 or 999. In fact, I know of one case where a complaint directly filed in the Philippines without going through any government agency there or through the embassy here. They went directly to LMRA 
and the ad, and the case was uh, addressed and the Filipino subject was uh, repatriated and, and uh, just goes to show how effective all these uh, developments uh, Bahrain has been doing and as it has been doing now in its second year it's continuously innovating and uh, new developments not just for human trafficking not just for the elimination of human trafficking but in the overall context of labor migration reform which has benefited many of my countrymen the achievement that Bahrain has made reflects its support and preservation of human rights and dignity out of its commitment to being an oasis of tolerance, coexistence and peace. The Kingdom of Bahrain has achieved an advanced global status in the field of trafficking in persons which reflects the effectiveness of its efforts in this field and coincides with the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. In affirmation of its pioneering role in many fields, the Kingdom of Bahrain has achieved in two consecutive years an unprecedented international accomplishment through attaining its advanced position in the U.S. Department of State's Trafficking in Persons report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been recognized for its efforts in trafficking in persons and remains a Tier 1 country in the State Department's 2019 TIP report, in 2018 and 2019 as the only country in the Middle East and North Africa to achieve this position twice in a row. The duties of the Director of Combating Human Trafficking are summed up in the ministerial decision of the Minister of Interior in 2007, which stipulated receiving all reports and calls in relation to this crime, investigations, collecting evidence, and arresting the accused and transferring them to the public prosecution. The duties also include implementing all the decisions issued by the public prosecution or the court specialized in this regard, coordinating with the specialized officials' bodies, which are mentioned in the Combating Trafficking in Persons Law, receiving reports and calls and exchanging information in this regard, working on media and awareness campaigns, and developing a system for data collection on all victims. This achievement was the result of tireless national efforts in which the General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Evidence, represented by the Directorate of Combating Human Trafficking and the Protection of Public Morals, has participated in, along with its main role in law enforcement, developing the skills and abilities of workers on detecting victims of trafficking in persons, as well as raising the society's awareness on the dangers of this crime. The Directorate of Crime Detection and Forensic Science receives calls and reports on trafficking in persons through number 17718888. We receive reports from all bodies, including foreign embassies. When we receive the report, there are qualified and trained individuals to follow up on trafficking in persons issues. When the victim herself comes to the Directorate to report the crime, there are qualified individuals who are able able to identify victims by their physical appearance through beating marks or psychological effects such as fear and depression. The directorate then follows up on suspicious locations practicing this crime. The directorate gives a number of lectures in the field of trafficking in person at the Royal Police Academy, which are also held for the Ministry of Interior members. In addition to receiving delegation from the Bahrain Defense Force, the Royal Guard and other bodies, the instructors are trained according to United Nations standards through periodic participations and local and international workshop and training courses by UN committee. On the occasion of World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, it is imperative to highlight the achievements and outstanding national performance in this field within the framework of the Ministry of Interior's efforts to maintain security and protect public order. The Regional Director of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime in the GCC, Dr. Ali Hatem, affirmed that the Bahraini experience in the field of trafficking in persons is a bright experience due to its outstanding role in creating a common concept and definition among various state agencies concerned in the field, which helps strengthen the work system and enhance its effectiveness. We, of course, appreciate uh, the partnership with uh, the Kingdom of uh, Bahrain through the National Committee on Combating Human uh, Trafficking, and we take uh, the uh, steps 
the very positive steps taken by the kingdom in the establishment of a national committee and the issuance of a, a, a counter-human trafficking uh, law and uh, the establishment of a advanced center for victim care and victim support for the victims of human trafficking within uh, LMRA as a very positive uh, sign and a commitment from uh, the country to confront the challenge of human tra- uh, trafficking that targets the kingdom of uh, uh, Bahrain. We also take the partnership and the hard work uh, that the National Committee is actually extending with us as uh, the um, uh, custodian of the Convention and the Protocol on Combating uh, Human Trafficking as a sign uh, and a will of uh, uh, the country to uh, not only um, uh, respond to the national uh, uh, challenges, but to respond to regional and international um, uh, challenges through uh, giving a model and example to uh, uh, the neighboring uh, country through uh, the partnership with the United uh, Nations. Uh, as you know, we have uh, worked very hard with the National Committee and all the member agencies of the National Committee, including the judiciary, the prosecution, the police, and uh, uh, the labor, the LMRA. And uh, we have trained the trainers, and we have a, a group of national Bahraini experts who have been Uh, trained by the United Nations, and now they are helping us uh, training uh, their peers in the national committees in the neighboring country. Now, uh, with uh, the decision that the Kingdom of Bahrain just took to establish a regional center of excellence on training on uh, uh, the mechanism of victim care and victim support, for the victims of human uh, trafficking that will in part and capitalize on the expertise uh, uh, of the uh, experts of Bahrain trained by the United Nations together with the UN ODC um, uh, experts, but will introduce the model produced by Uh, 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 the um, Kingdom of uh, Bahrain, such as the National Referral uh, Mechanism and the Center on uh, the Protection of uh, Human Trafficking, which would take our partnership with the Kingdom of Bahrain to a new horizon, a new level we look very much uh, forward to. In this regard, U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin Sibirel, issued a statement saying the United States appreciates exceptional strides made in Bahrain to combat trafficking in persons. The statement highlighted that Bahrain was recognized by Secretary of State Pompeo for its efforts and remains a Tier 1 country in the State Department's 2019 TIP report.